Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be talking about how you can create your own verified official artist channel on YouTube. You may or may not have noticed that some channels on YouTube have this music logo next to the name. So that basically means that they release their own music. So if you are releasing your own music and want to get your own verified official artist channel on YouTube, then this video is for you. <laughs> Okay, so to get an official artist channel on YouTube, there are a few requirements. So I'm just gonna go through them really quickly so that you'll know if you're actually eligible to get one before you watch the whole video. So number one, you must own and operate a YouTube channel that represents one artist or band. You must have at least one official music release on YouTube delivered and distributed by a music distributor or label. So you can't get an official artist channel if you haven't released any music yet. Your channel follows the YouTube policies and then one or more of the following. So so either work with a YouTube partner program, be part of the YouTube partner program, your channel is part of a label network that works with a partner manager, or your music is distributed by a music partner listed in the YouTube services directory for music partners. Okay, so basically, if you are like most independent artists, and you do release music through DistroKid, then you are completely fine. You'll be able to do this because DistroKid works with YouTube to do this. So if you have released music using DistroKid, then you will 100% be eligible for an official artist channel as long as your channel is following YouTube's policies. And that basically just means you don't have any offensive content. So there's two reasons that you might want to have an official artist channel on YouTube. And that is because A, you're a music artist who has released music and you've probably noticed that your music has been uploaded to YouTube under a channel name with your name and then topic. And that basically just means that the distributor has made the YouTube channel for you in order to release your music on YouTube as well. And then B, you might also want to release different type of content that isn't just songs or music videos. You might want to actually make videos yourself and post them and have them all in the same place as your music. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do is contact your distributor and let them know that you want to take charge of your own YouTube channel from now on. And then usually your distributor will quite easily just hand it over to you. You'll basically just have to fill out a few details with the name of your current channel. So that's the point actually, you're gonna have to make a channel first. But if you just fill out like, it's either like the name or are you log in through the channel? It's something like that. And then once you've provided them details, then they can start making the change over to put all of your official releases on your new channel. So once you've done that, I think it usually takes a few days, maybe a week for everything to be transferred over. And once the transfer is done and all of your original music is on your channel, YouTube will automatically change your channel into an official artist channel and you'll have the music logo and be a verified artist. And then it'll look something like this where all of your music is now on your YouTube channel under its own category. And anyone who listens to your music through this YouTube channel will then also count towards streams for you. Okay, so now you're probably wondering what this means for like uploading music videos, lyric videos, anything like that. And I'm completely just talking from experience here because I have never intentionally uploaded a music video. I've never filmed a music video before and I've never wanted to put one out there. However, what I did do when I had my first gig, I made a really short video of all the highlights from the gig. And I just thought, oh, I may as well put my own song on in the background. So I added my own song to this little highlights video that I made. And then I posted it on YouTube and YouTube thought that it was a music video because obviously the song was in the background of it and I was posting it on my own channel to my own song. So that just immediately went under the music videos category without me having to do anything else. So basically what I'm saying is that if you want to release music videos, just literally make the video, sync it up to the song and post it. And I'm pretty sure it'll just become an official music video. Might be wrong on that, but that's what happened to me, so. And if you are wanting to take control of your own YouTube channel because you want to make content and you want to make other type of videos and you're starting a music YouTube channel from scratch, there's a few pieces of advice that I would just like to share with you of what I would do if I was starting now. So if I was to talk strictly from a business point of view, if you're wanting to up your subscribers and get yourself some streams, I would honestly just start with posting covers whilst I'm building my subscribers because I think what I did wrong was that I was just too excited about posting content that I jumped straight into just posting videos and I think the problem with that is is that if you're making original content, then the content that you're making isn't popular yet. And I think YouTube then doesn't know who is gonna wanna watch that type of content. Whereas if you're posting covers and your covers are of songs that are popular now, that are in the charts now, so many people are gonna be 
type in that song into YouTube because they want to listen to it because it's new, suddenly then YouTube knows that that person likes that song and will push your cover to their page for them to watch and then you'll get loads of views. So this is what happened to me the one time that I posted a cover from a song in an album that had just come out a few days before, it became like one of my most viewed covers on YouTube. So if I was to start again now, I would just cover popular songs for a bit while I'm building up my subscriber count. So yeah, I would definitely just stick to covers for a while, maybe until you get monetized and then start posting content videos. Okay, so that's everything for today's video. I hope this has been helpful for somebody. And if you are starting a music YouTube channel, then good luck. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll put links to my socials and original music in the description if anyone's interested in listening to that. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.